be our friends, our lovers of freedom all over the world. You are welcome back to be our friends news televisions. Today's date is 13th of June 2024. And we are still here making sure that you are being updated on every information coming from United States of Biafra all over the world. We want you to pay a very good attention right now as we are coming across the Biafra Prime Minister life and dressing the United States of Biafra all over the world. Please don't forget to share. As you are watching, please share and drop a spirit in the comment section below as we go into the full news in details. Very much. That was a wonderful song. Thank you. Yes, um, Williams. Sir Williams, over to you, please. Questions. Uh, questions. Uh, direct questions. Direct questions. Okay. My Prime Minister, I greet you once again. A bubedike one of Biafra land, Obato Bia. May Chuko Kabia may continue to bless and protect you. He said, He said, He said, Am I being heard? Very well, very well. Yes, my Prime Minister, last time I wanted to ask you a question, but uh, the network was very, very bad. But uh, the wise man with the uh, 555 vision asked you a similar question. So let me just uh, go straight to the question. This ID card that is meant for the people in diaspora. And most of us that are living in the zoo here, like Abuja, though we are in exile in Abuja here, and we have um, addresses in uh, America and Canada. That is uh, for concerned uh, friends like me. They asked me this question to put it to you. If we, can, if we are not uh, eligible for this ID card, since we always travel out and then come back, but we reside in the zoo. So, is it, what is your take, sir? Thank you very much. If you travel out and come back, you are eligible for the ID card. Oh. God bless you, sir. God bless you, sir. All right, we go to Chima. Chima, over to you. Direct question, direct question. Chima, over to you. And, uh, sorry, and remember that uh, the document you are going to use will be your visa. Not we don't Thank you, sir. accept we don't accept Nigeria passport. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank Thank you, sir. You. My Prime Minister, good afternoon. Am I coming out clear? Yes. Um, good afternoon, my Prime Minister. This is Chima. I'm calling from Las Vegas. Please, I, I know it's a question and answer section, but I don't know if I can just chip in a little bit of contribution for like one minute, then I'll, I'll give my mic, please. Go ahead. Thank you very much. Based on what you just said now, by Prime Minister, I won't lie to you, I'm at work. You've, you've, you've actually elevated my spirits. I'm so angry right now. These people, they've, they've subjugated us. They treat us like animals. We all, they, all, they all push us to exile. They release Abba Kari, the guy that has killed thousands of, hundreds of thousands of Igbos. They, re, they, re, they release the, 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 the leader of Mighty Allah, the leader of the fourth terrorist group in the world, fourth most deadly terrorist group in the world. But it's still kept in the canoe there. That is how they, that's how they see us. Instead, they use one over over bloated guinea pig to come and insult evils. Like you said, their friends are happy, they are marrying, they are getting married, they are living their lives in, in the Southeast. But the criminals that have subjugated us, that have stolen our commonwealth, they are the ones that are scared of coming back to, to their villages. They are the ones crying out loud. And we are not going to stop. We are all mad. I'm calling from Las Vegas. We are all mad all over the world. They've brought it upon themselves. And Nigeria will never recover, like you said. We will never ever recover. Even if they release it on the canoe, Nigeria will never recover. I eat my mic. Thank you, Chima. Thank you, Chima. Uh, Biafra Unite, over to you. Biafra Unite, over to you. Are you not close to your mic? Okay, one, uh, one uh, over to you. One uh, over to you. One uh, over to you. One. Uh... Hello. Very well. I can hear you. Right on. Yeah. Hello, my dear Prime Minister. I'm very, very happy. Uh, because when I saw this tweet this morning, I reacted. I said it cannot happen. 
The way, this is what they did to us in 1967. They created the, I think, River State or whatever state to bring confusion. So the, the, the only thing I want you to ask them is that, who is the person? Have you, this is the first time we are hearing that somebody, they, they are reading the, they have read the motion two times. Who is the sponsor? Who is the sponsor of the motion? They didn't mention that. You told that Nigeria is a criminal country. Now, you read the motion for two times in the house. You did not say this is the person who brought the motion that a state should be created in the southeast. So this is something that has proven that Nigeria is a criminal country. Like you said, you can't use war to solve problem. You can only use peace. So I'm just very, very happy for you. Because as I say, I used to say, if I wake up in the morning, I don't see a tweet. I become uncomfortable for the whole day. And I'm very, very happy hearing from you tonight. And we will resist. Hope is only can never create any state from him who said, oh, hope or my, who said that uh, a Boeing state is not part of Biafra. So we are behind you, one million percent behind you. As you speak, we like your voice, we like your actions. Go ahead, and God will continue to bless you. Are you my maker? Thank you. Uh, David Nana, over to you. Oh, Biafra Unite, are you back on the speaker? Biafra Unite. Okay, David, over to you, David. Biafra United is not okay yet. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you so much, my Minister of Information. Am I coming out, sir? Because I can't see anything. I'm just hearing voices. I can hear you. I can hear you. Continue. Continue. We can hear you. Okay, sir. Thank you so much. My my Prime Minister, Agune Chemba One, I really appreciate you, sir. Thank you for coming. My Prime Minister, you know, sometimes we are very much flabbergasted or surprised how do you manage to do this every minute every point in time you give us updates you go meetings here and there do you sleep do you recreate do you have a recreational time or in fact i begin to wonder how you get this all the energy to do all this number one that is part of my question secondly my pm there is something that is very very i i can't understand how you how this happened in 2015 you were the only person that you know when some people left their motherland to go to foreign land to etm and they were somehow disciplined in that area you were the only person that come and spoke on his behalf then in 2019 you joined Biafra liberation. You have performed more than people who joined 19 Brigidim. I want to ask you, Prime Minister, does it mean that why in 2015 you were the Igbo, 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 Igbo president in Finland? We are you still doing Igbo president and still studying about how to destroy Nigeria? Because I can't phantom within five years what you have achieved. People who have been there as 19 Brigidim have not been able to go even even achieve one percent of what you have done, sir. That is my question. Thank you. Thank you very much. This is a very important question. I will tell you today one secret. There is no Igbo person today anywhere in the world that is with Nigeria at heart. This is a pure truth. Nobody today that is shouting Nigeria, Nigeria, deep down as an Igbo man and a Biafra, deep down inside their heart, they know Nigeria is not for them. While I was the chairman of Igbo Union Finland, I know, but you know, there is this spirit that you keep telling you, don't worry, maybe tomorrow. Not worry, maybe next month. So everybody today, from the governors down to the lowest, deep down inside their heart, they know Nigeria is not for them. And many of them that are supporting Nigeria today is work for what they are do getting to maintain their status quo, or they are anticipating for something. This is a fact. I have been there. So I can tell you from my experience. While I was doing all those things, including burning Biafra flag in Igbo Hall, it is just thinking something will happen. Nothing. Deep down, everybody is a Biafra. Every, deep down inside you, your hand. No matter how you want to fight, 
this freedom against Biafra. Believe me. Many of them you see today that are shrinking. Nata Honike is because they have found themselves in the very tight corner. They don't know what to do. But then man have to leave. They continue to push. There's only some of us who summon courage and say, enough is enough. We make a U-turn, 360 degree. And that's what differentiates a man, a very, you know, a man with integrity than those who continue to come from the back door to tell you, okay, can we support you? Because many of them are coming. Many of them, are, they are ready to fund this Biafra. But you know, their fear is that, oh, if they find out, they're going to destroy my property. Oh, if they find out, they're going to destroy my house. Oh, if they find out, they're going to destroy my business. Oh, if they find out, they will kill my family. Oh, if they, you know? So if you know they're going to, you are afraid of that, you come to me. I will make sure nobody know about you until Biafra come. Why this was going on, we were preparing for Nigeria. I was preparing for Nigeria. That's why I remain on solvable mathematics. I am telling you the fact, because in 2015, when I became the Igbo Union chairman, I was just Igbo Union chairman, but in the heart, I was still a Biafra. The reason why I supported Atiku in 2019 was not because of Atiku, was not because of Nigeria, was because of P2B. That's why when I look at these people, I laugh. I am telling you the fact. The reason I supported Atiku in 2019, I did not only support Atiku, I become one of the leader of the Atiku campaign group in Europe was because of P2B. Why is it P2B? Why was it because of P2B? Because P2B is an Igbo man. Why, be, why it was because an Igbo man? Because P2B as an Igbo man is a Biafra. So I supported Atiku because of him. So that alone should tell you anybody supporting P2B today is not supporting P2B because P2B is the only person that will change anything. P2B cannot change anything in Nigeria. Many people supporting P2B, either they are Igbo, supporting P2B because P2B is an Igbo man. And those who are angry today that P2B did not win the election as an Igbo person, or they are doing it because P2B was rigged out because he's an Igbo man. And if you have that kind of spirit, you are a Biafra, no matter how you pretend. Because if P2B is from Yoruba land, you can't support him. So you are supporting him because you're an Igbo man. And if you do that, it means you are not Nigeria at heart. That's why I say no Igbo man is a Nigeria at heart. There's only something you are planning to get or something you're anticipating. And once that in fail, you can't stand it anymore, you turn to Biafra, which is the last bus stop. Many of us turned in 2019. That's why we are here today. And we have come to finish it. Whether they like it or not, we drag them into freedom. Thank you.